look forward to the game on January 2nd. Sounds good. Appreciate that. Thank you. Go you. Coach, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Good to see you again. Yes, sir. Well, now that you're back at the Rose Bowl, what's it going to take to come out victorious against Penn? Yeah, we had another outstanding opponent, Penn State, uh, very similar to last year. We got to play Ohio State. Uh, we're going to have to play our best football. There's no doubt about it. They're well coached, they're physical, uh, they're committed to the run game. They play great defense. So we got our hands full, and they're going to be a big challenge. Will you do anything different? than what you've been doing against this team? Not really. You know, at this point in the year, you obviously have had a whole season behind you. You're not going to make any wholesale changes. Uh, you just do what you do best. Uh, a few new wrinkles here and there. I'm not going to say there won't be some, some new wrinkles, because there will. I'm sure you'll see some from the Penn State crew. But uh, you got to do what you hang your hat on and, and uh, do what suits your personnel. Maximizes that. Right. Well, as far as playing Penn State and, you know, being back here again, how has it helped you as a coach to grow and to even go deeper into your arsenal of coaching yeah, well, skills? Uh, yeah, certainly another challenge. And, uh, each year, uh, the coach, hopefully you learn something. I know I have. i gotten uh, a little bit better each year as far as uh, you know, how to handle the situation and, and making sure your players are in the right mindset and all that type of thing. And, and the second time around at the Rose Bowl, uh, drawing upon our experience last year, we thought we had a pretty good plan last year as far as how to handle the week. Uh, we tweaked it a little bit this year, but uh, we've been going to bowls for quite a few years here. And we have a pretty good handle on uh, you know, how we want to approach the, the bowl situation. You had an impressive win for the Pac-12 championship oh, yes, against yeah. USC. How will that act as a stepping stone for you guys to even do yeah, well, we greater played, things? Uh, with a chip on our shoulder for sure in that game when it didn't seem like many people were giving us a, a chance to win. They were always talking about uh, the USC going to the playoffs and you know, getting way ahead of themselves. And uh, that's when we function best, when we have that, that uh, I don't want to say disrespect, but, but uh, when people overlook us, and I'm not saying USC overlooked us, but it seemed like the media overlooked us a little bit. And uh, we use that as motivation. What would you say to all your family, friends, and uh, alumni come Rose Bowl Day? I would say come out in full force just like you did last year. Uh, we had a great crowd. Our, our fans traveled exceptionally well. Uh, we were in Rice Eccles Stadium, our home stadium, we sold out for 10 years straight. And so we're going to be a big part of uh, giving us a chance to win this game on Monday. Congratulations. Thank you. Gary George with the Inland Valley News Reporting.